Hello and welcome to Moon Kitty Tarot's general Scorpio monthly reading for the month of August 2021. Thank you for being here, Scorpio. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to know when I upload next. Also, just a reminder, this is a general reading. Please don't forget to check your sun, moon, and rising sign videos to get a more comprehensive and complete look of how your August could potentially be for you. Thank you again for being here. Um, a few things to note before we get started. I will never reach out to you to ask you to set up a private reading or to ask you for money. If you would like to set up a private tarot or oracle or kundalini reiki healing session with me, the link and my social media account links are in the description box below this video. Um, as you can see, there is a new setup for these monthly readings in addition to my new purple cloth, which seems to be working better with my ring light. Um, these tarot boards were featured in my unboxing video that I did in July. And um, if you would like more information on how you could potentially get your own, um, I will in the card in the top right corner link the video that has that information. <clears throat> I also have a few t Oracle decks on here. So what I'm going to be using these boards for is for the first third of the month, the second third of the month, and the purple one on the end will be for the final third of the month. The tarot decks that I'm working with today is Ciro Marchetti's Marchetti Tarot Deck and his Gilded Tarot Royale Miniature Deck. I also have Alberto Valaldo's and Colette Baron Reed's. <laughs> Um, Shaman's Dream Oracle Deck and Colette Baron Reed's um, Energy of the Seven, or, or, uh, sorry, Oracle of the Seven Energies and Wisdom of the Oracle Decks. I uh, let's see what we have for you for the month of August, Scorpio. All right, we have Covenant, Sacred Covenant, and already the the message that I'm getting off that card is. If you entered into a contract, a spiritual contract, soul contract with someone um, that that is going to be coming up for the month of August. Now we have endless possibilities for the second third of the month. And finally, for the final third of the month, we have Imagine. Such beautiful cards already. You can't, I don't think you can see it with my camera. Ah, there we go. Um, there is a figure in the what looks like a clamshell or a wave that is reaching up to the moon. And I'm going to go ahead and pull these cards off the table right now because they're very slippery and I don't want them to be flying everywhere as I move around the table and re have to reach over them. All right, let's see what tarot cards we have for you, Scorpio. Two of Cups, right off the bat. Just like I was saying, soul contract energy coming off this card, you get the Two of Cups, which is about love. And then you have the Queen of Cups. God, that's such a beautiful card. Fitting for a water sign. And then you have the Queen of Coins, Queen of Pentacles. And then you have Temperance. Starting the second third of the month, you have the Five of Wands. All right, camera, come on, behave. Five of Wands. My webcam has been doing so good so far until <laughs> it knows it's the last video of the night. Um, you have the Ten of Swords. Something is going to be coming to completion. And then we have, to start off the final third, you have the Six of Pentacles. That's an interesting card. And then you have the Seven of Wands. This came up in another reading. And finally, we have the Star. Everyone has had these beautiful cards for the final card of their of the month for them tonight. 
All right, Scorpio. So again, like I was saying, these two cards are really speaking soul contract, soul energy to me, whether it be your partner, soulmate, whatever you want to call it, coming into your life if they are not already. Um, and wow, that, that's such intense, beautiful energy. And then you have the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Coins. There's going to be some nurturing that needs to happen with those two, with that Queen of Coins card. Um, the Queen of Cups is about the water sign. Um, she's just basically saying your heart's engaged. Um, so I think the first third of the month with these cards is really saying that it's going to be all about your home, your family, and it doesn't have to be blood related family. It could be your chosen family. Um, this whole first third of the month for you, Scorpio, is going to be about your family. It's going to be about spending time with them, loving them, your friends, and stuff like that. So you have temperance. She's all about making sure that your actions are, um, or interactions, reactions are appropriate to whatever um, situation you have at hand. You have a bit of a tumultuous, a little bit of tumultuous, tumultuous energy for the second third of the month with this um with this five of swords basically cleaning up a battlefield some victory has been had um and then you have something coming to a completion with the ten of swords um or i'm sorry five of swords not ten of swords that's the five of swords let me make sure no nope, ten of swords i was right for a second it looked like a v and not an x <laughs> in my camera um so something some hard work something is coming to completion to an end um that works really well with the five of wands a battle is over it's time to rest now and then you have with that um with that endless possibilities endless things are possible for you for the month of august there's scorpio then you have Imagine starting off the final third of the month. What beautiful cards. Like This has been such a great night to do readings. They've just been very phenomenal readings for the signs tonight. Um, very positive messages. Imagine and you will create it. That's that final third energy for me. Um, that six of coins card is kind of throwing me a little bit. It's very chaotic energy off this card um, with that artwork. Um... It's, you might have an opportunity to help those in need, maybe be, maybe, <laughs> maybe do some charitable giving, um, and maybe it's time to start really looking on the inside and see if you're giving exactly what you need to your family, friends, and loved ones. Um, again, friend, family does not have to be blood relation if it's not a good situation you have the seven of wands this like i said earlier came up i believe it was for libra um and it, this card is just saying that you may need to defend your actions and your beliefs for the month of august um for the final third of august and then you have the star card and that's a really beautiful card to have end the month on um, as far as energy goes, she is lighting the way when there it's the dark new moon time. She is just saying there is light out there. If you look up at the stars, she will help guide you to your destination. So let's see what clarifica clarification we can get for Scorpio for that two of cups. Um, for some of you, there might be a new love coming into your life. Um, there might be something, um, and it doesn't have to be like a romantic love. It could be a new friend that you just click with and you instantly know that you were meant to be friends together in this lifetime. It could be a pet. Um, you, it could just be leading you exactly where you need to be. Let's see. What clarification can we get for the Two of Cups for Scorpio? For August 2021. I do have a more peaceful energy um, for your reading than I did even for Leo and Virgo. It's not nearly as chaotic as theirs was, but even still, they had some very beautiful messages. Scorpio, I just thought I would mess, uh, 
mention that. We have the Two of Swords. Cross, uh, clarifying that Two of Cups. Exactly what I said. <laughs> you got a two on top of a two. A two on top of a two. Interesting. Um, being that this card has, she's kind of blindfolded. Um, don't go into things blindly. Um, communication is definitely essential to help create a happy, healthy reality, Scorpio. Don't keep the blinders on. Make sure that you're being open and honest with yourself and your significant other or your loved ones. All right. What clarification can we get on that gorgeous Queen of Cups for Scorpio for August 2021? All right, we have the Eight of Swords. That's interesting that she should pop up because she is blindfolded. And she does not know that she can, if she weren't blindfolded, she would be able to see the fact that she can very easily escape whatever situation she's in. Um, so again, keep your eyes open. Make sure that you're not missing any red flags that are out there from a significant other or family, friends whomever is in your life um, and make sure with that queen of coins like I said before that you are nurturing yourself and those who are closest to you but I really get the feeling that the message is strictly for you that you do show yourself some love in the month of August what clarification can we get for that queen of coins for Scorpio for August 2021 We have the Four of Pentacles. Don't, okay. So that's really interesting that that card should co come up over the Queen of Pentacles because to me, he's very miserly. Like he's got a box of Pentacles in his hands and there's people, excuse me, people who have their hands outstretched who are wanting um, some help from him, but he's being stingy. So it might be time... Scorpio, um, to come out of your shell a little bit, put that tail away, don't be stinging people, like I said, um, last month for the end of the, the week, the end of last week of the month, um, for you, Scorpio, um, but what, um, so yeah, so just be careful of that, um, <clears throat> luminous possibilities with that temperance card, and the seven, the five of wands and the ten of swords. But let's see what clarification we can get for the temperance card. And again, the temperance card is making sure your um, actions and reactions are appropriate to whatever situation that occurs. But what other message do we have for Scorpio for that temperance for August 2021? We have the King of Pentacles. You have the King and the Queen of Pentacles on the board. Divine counterparts. Um, you know, that's... He knows his worth. He knows who he is. He knows that um, he has every right to um, be proud of where he has come, where his kingdom has come from. Um, he helps uplift his kingdom, take care of his kingdom financially. Um, but yeah, you have the King and the Queen now. What clarification can we get for that battlefield card? The five of wands. I think I'm thinking of the five of swords. 
the battlefield. But that is such an interesting card regardless because the, the Five of Wands um, can be very chaotic. Um, again, it's just telling you to make sure that you are doing your best for yourself and for other people. Um, be kind, be gentle, be loving to yourself. And to those around you. One more shuffle. All right, let's see. Okay, re really? Really cards? Really. They said no. We meant one more shuffle. Sorry. We have the lovers. <laughs> Wow, it's really interesting that this, um, I said this before, I don't generally do love readings, but if the messages is, are there, I will definitely do it. You have the two of cups and the lovers on the board. Um, they're Scorpio. And again, this could be love of yourself. It doesn't have to be love, um, divine counterparts, love another person in your life that you are romantically involved with. But generally this card does represent a romantic partner. Um, if you're not in a relationship, maybe one will be coming into to your life. If you are in a relationship, maybe it's time to deepen that relationship and trust it. If it is a healthy relationship, I'm not really getting anything negative off these vibes at the moment as far as a relationship is go. Um, I just will say to everybody, make sure you're watching those red flags. All right. So what is coming to completion with that 10 of swords energy that is for Scorpio for August 2021 that lover's card really needed to come out as much as my cards fought me to pull a card and not shuffle one more time all right Scorpio let's see what do we have for that ten of swords temperance again <laughs> such strong energies for you for the month of august scorpio again you know something coming to a completion make sure that your reaction and action towards that completion is warranted and it is justified um you have for the final third of the month you have imagine it's time to listen to your intuition it's time <coughs> to bring about excuse me, whatever you have been dreaming of into fruition. What clarification can you give us on that six of coins for Scorpio for August, the seven of cups choices there's endless possibilities again <laughs> you know you have a lot of choices coming at you for the month of august there uh, scorpio and it's just being reiterated over and over again all right so i mean i don't have much more to say than that um what clarification can we give scorpio for that seven of wands card for the final third of august 2021 And while I'm shuffling, I just want to mention, make sure you stick around to the end because I do have, th I will th pull three cards to get an overall message for you, Scorpio, for the August of 20, or for August 2021. All right, we have strength. You know, you are one of the energy wise one of the stronger signs out there Scorpio and this sign this card is just saying you need to have strength in yourself and strengthen your intuition into the messages that you're receiving from God universe divine energy higher power soul um, spirit guides and angels whatever you work with elementals um, and whatever you call it in your path you know you have strength in your knowledge have strength in yourself because 
we have the star card ending the month and she like i said is lighting the way on the darkest nights and even when the moon is up she is still out shining bright what clarification can we get for the star card for scorpios for the month of august 2021 We have the Five of Pentacles. This card has been dying to come out tonight. I'm telling you. All right. So with that being on top of the star card, that's interesting. I just looked at the bottom of my miniature deck and the star is at the bottom. Um, with that card popping up over the star card, just be careful you don't run um, out of energy for the month of August, that you're not solely taking care of everybody else, Scorpio, that you are nurturing yourself as well um and if someone if you do have the opportunity to help someone like that six of coins said um it might be a good time to do a good deed you know do um do something nice for someone else but let's see what um overall messages we can get for scorpio for august 2021 We have the Ten of Coins, Fortune After Difficulty, the Two of Wands, and Strength again. Wow. Definitely choices to make. I love this the artwork on this deck. Um, again, the Ten of Wands or Ten of Coins is all about Fortune After Difficulty. Something coming to an end might be financially rewarding for you. You might have another choice to make because of that. The financial. Uh, I'm sorry. You might have another choice with that two of wands with that fortune after difficulty coming in. Um, be grateful, be kind, be gentle to those who have helped you get where you are. And if something does come up, definitely look at it from all sides, whether it be a new job or, or what have you. Um, also with the strength card coming up again, this is just the universe reiterating. It meant what I said when it brought out that strength card before you are a strong person you are amazing um and there's strength in being kind there's strength in being vulnerable just remember that scorpio all right scorpio thank you so much for being here please don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell to know when i upload next i really appreciate the support please let me know if this message resonated with you sorry i hit my microphone in the comment section below the video please don't forget to um check out my website the link and my and my social media links are in the description box below the video i hope you have a wonderful month in august scorpio thank you again blessed be